Chicago witnessed hundreds of arrivals and departures at its seven downtown stations during the glory years of rail service. With the coming of the automobile and air travel, fortunes turned against the railroads and many trains were withdrawn. By the late 1960s, it was clear that the remaining trains were on borrowed time. On the horizon loomed the concept of government-supported rail passenger service. In 1971, Amtrak emerged as the nation's passenger rail carrier and the individuality of prior times was lost. More importantly, the new carrier elected to cut most trains from its system. In 1970, Robert Bullerman set out to film the remaining Chicago area passenger trains. He also got many railroads that were to lose their identities through merger or abandonment. If you'll find trains from the Santa Fe, the Burlington, Milwaukee Road, Rock Island, GM and O and more, plus some of Amtrak's early efforts. Add to this a nice selection of freight action and you're sure to savor this film by Robert Bullerman. The Milwaukee Road Freight has a couple of home-built GP20s in tow. These units were rebuilt from older units at the company shops. Baldwin Center Cab transfer diesels on the EJ and E. As the unit passes, note the EMD builder's plate on the side of the cab. These engines had been rebuilt with electromotive prime movers by the time Mr. Bulliman caught them at Griffith. Three Fs are eastbound on the Grand Trunk Western. <laughs> Mr. Bulliman also captured scenes of the mop in the St. Louis area. Located just south of East St. Louis, the hump yard at DuPont, Illinois, was a good location with the highway immediately next to the servicing tracks and within sight of the hump. 